Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Tom's River North is brought to you by Community Medical Center in Tom's River. Tom's River has two state-ranked teams and the Crosstown Rivals collide. Donovan Catholic hosting Tom's River North, a packed house to see a much anticipated short conference showdown. The Mariners make the short trip riding a 17 game win streak. TRN has back to back 42 point games. They march right into Donovan territory on their opening drive, but Micah Ford's pass picked off by Najee Morgan at the two yard line. The Griffins get an early turnover and their student section was fired up bringing the energy for all four quarters. North gets the ball right back, and Ford bounces back with a rainbow. Jeremiah Pruitt's got it. 36 yards. That's a beautiful throw and catch. Tom River North out to a 7-0 lead. DC responds late in the first. Todd Lambertson finds a wide open Emmanuel Jarena. He cruises into the zone for a 49-yard touchdown. Penalties on both teams would slow down the scoring at the half. We've got a 7-7 game. Third quarter, Ford worked hard for every single yard. Here he escapes the pile. How did he pick up 20 yards? Micah Ford trying to will Toms River North to a tough road win. And here's yet another reason why Stanford's getting a special player. Roman Boyer's in on the blitz. Looks like a big time sack, but somehow, some way, Ford escapes. That is crazy. Moyers is able to bring him down eventually. Donovan's defense was outstanding in this high stakes game. Moyers didn't get that sack, but he did get one of the biggest plays of the game. Ford's pass picked off by Roman Moyers. Second INT of the night for the Donovan Catholic secondary. At the end of three, we're still tied at seven. Early in the fourth, Ford with a hit on Lamberson and the ball pops out. It's Jeremiah Pruitt on the recovery, but Tom's River North couldn't convert the turnover into points. With the game on the line, sophomore running back Najee Calhoun showed why he's a name to watch. He got his first D1 offer from Duke over the summer. Here's Calhoun with the first down run to the 26. Third and long, Lambertson played a great game. He rolls right and hits Jarena, marked down at the two yard line. It's fourth and goal and the Griffins are going for it. The direct snap to Calhoun. Donovan Catholic has the lead. The two yard touchdown run with 6.36 to go in the fourth. Donovan Catholic with a 14-7 lead. Plenty of time for Ford and the Mariners to draw even. Here's Micah with a first down run. Tom's River North threatening in Donovan Catholic territory. But just moments after this run, Micah Ford suffers an injury. He would leave the game and not return. We can only hope that one of the state's most electrifying players can get healthy and return to the field as soon as possible. He is a special player to watch. TJ Valerio, the backup QB is in on fourth down. He's sacked by JJ Correa. Samuel Rock the third with the recovery. Another huge play by the Donovan defense. And Calhoun delivers the knockout punch. He bounces to the outside and there he goes. Devastating speed. 59 yards for Najee Calhoun. He took this game over in the fourth quarter, and this will go down as one of the best wins in Donovan Catholic program history. It was a big game atmosphere, and the Griffins brought their big game feel to end the 17 game win streak of their crosstown rival. 21 to seven is your final. Donovan Catholic has put themselves at the front of the line for top team in the short conference now with a 3-0 mark. Najee Calhoun had 158 yards and two touchdowns. We talked with the super sophomore about his sensational fourth quarter. And going into the game, I just had to chip up my shoulder. Whatever I need to do for my team to win, it was for us to prove our point that we always will deliver. Tell me a little bit about just the atmosphere. This is a big win for Donovan Catholic, especially against a crosstown rival. The atmosphere is crazy. I think we had like a record-breaking fans and everything. It was a crazy atmosphere. It felt great. Best game I've ever been a part of. It, it was an awesome atmosphere, and, and yeah, it was a heck of a heck of a, heck of a heck of a ball game. I'm really proud of my team. Uh, you know, nobody gave us a chance in this one, and uh, they believed. In Tom's River, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsO.com.